is a simple columnar epithelium. We have crypts of Lieberkund, lots of goblet cells, and lots of lymphatic nodules. In this case, with germinal panels. The muscular coat is complete, so there will be an inner circular and an outer longitudinal. This one's fairly clean for the appendices that we have in the collection. A little bit of degeneration here, but actually it looks fairly good. Same layers, and you need to identify this as the appendix. Then for the colon, this one happens to be from the monkey. Lots of crypts to leave with them. No villi. Had to go look at this, one might think that there are villi there, but there are not. Just crypts of Lieberkund. So if we look at this, that's not a villus, that's the lamina propria. Here's the crypt of Lieberkund. So we have invaginations with no evagination. We still have a muscularis mucosa, we have a lymphatic nodule here, submucosa. And here is the submucosal plexus right there, Meissner's plexus, has several neurons. Inner circular layer, and in this case, we have an outer longitudinal layer. Now, when we get back from uh, next week or the week after, whenever we get back to another lab after lab fractal, I'll put up some demonstrations of the GI tract, including a tinea coli from a monkey colon. So we'll have that up on demonstration and also perhaps some panel cells. Okay, so let's go ahead and get it.